only on nine, this former NBA player is accused of strangling and punching a woman in her apartment in Uptown Charlotte. Anthony Morrow, who is from Charlotte and still lives here, now faces assault and kidnapping charges. Channel 9's crime reporter Hunter Sines spent the past two days looking into the accusations. A woman claims Anthony Morrow punched her, strangled her, and held her against her will. Tonight, Morrow's legal team is denying all of it. Steps into it. Anthony Morrow, the one-time shooting guard and former NBA player, is now facing serious charges. The Charlotte native and graduate of Charlotte Latin School is accused of assaulting a woman, kidnapping, and threatening her. A friend of the victim tells us she was dating Morrow. According to a warrant for arrest, Morrow faces charges of assault by strangulation, second degree kidnapping, assault on a female, and communicating threats. Those same documents allege he strangled the victim by squeezing her neck with his hands, and that the victim had scratches on the right side of her neck, cut lip, and abrasions on her forehead. They also allege Morrow assaulted the woman by striking her multiple times with his fists. Morrow runs to the three-point line. Morrow once played for the Golden State Warriors, seen here in this highlight video, before stints with multiple other NBA teams. He returned home to Charlotte where he's known to give back. This Anthony Morrow Charities website shows him working to improve the lives of children on Charlotte's west side. The website noting its programs in part, quote, focus on empowering and equipping our youth in the West Charlotte area to promote respect. Only abusers can stop abuse. B. Cote works with domestic violence offenders and says offenders abuse out of a sense of power and control. The most dangerous time for a victim is when she leaves, when she's left, when he thinks she's leaving, or when she refuses to come back. We don't know if the victim was trying to get out of a relationship with Morrow, but tonight we are hearing from Morrow's attorney. In a statement that he sent me, it reads in part, quote, Anthony denies these allegations. He has faith in our justice system and has every confidence that a review of the evidence will reveal that he is not guilty. Reporting outside the Mecklenburg County Courthouse in Uptown, Hunter Signs, Channel 9, Eyewitness News. We also want to let viewers know that there are resources here locally for both victims of domestic violence and for abusers. You can find that information on our website and our WSOC TV app. And this is the 24 hour domestic violence crisis hotline 980-771-4673. Someone answers the call 24 seven.